everybody. I just wanted to come in just about a minute before we start our session today, just to give all the ninjas who are going to be joining the training session today a chance to get themselves set up. And all you need is your yoga mat. And if you do have any kind of um, special toys that you feel really support you, you might want to bring them along so we can use them in our relaxation today. We can have them as a breathing buddy. But let's just take a moment to let everybody arrive and then we can, we can start our class today. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me after probably what's been a busy day for you back at school today. So my name's Karen, I'm the founder of Creative Yogis and I'm a registered children's yoga school. I'm super excited to be with you again today and particularly because I think right now we need to really find that ninja power to be back at school, to just be able to manage everything that's going on. The first thing I wanted to say to everybody that's joining the training session today is I think that you're doing a fantastic job. I don't think it's easy to be able to study at home and I know I've been talking to some of the parents and they've all been telling me what an incredible job that you're all doing. So I think, I just wanted to let you know, I thought that, and I wanted to say that I think that we've got nothing to worry about. Today is all about just finding that ninja power for when we need it to be able to keep going, keep studying, keep doing all the fabulous things that we're doing. Now, before we go into our training session today, one of the things I wanted to say was um, just to remind everybody, particularly any parents that might be interested in joining me, next month I've got my 95 hour program, the Registered Children's Yoga Teacher Training, and we're going into an online classroom this time because I can't be with you in Hong Kong, face to face, sadly, but we're gonna have an incredible time. And also just to let you know that the early bird finishes next week, so if you're interested to find out a little bit more about how to share yoga and mindfulness with um, ages two all the way through to fabulous and amazing teenagers, please take a look at the website to find out any more information. And, and if you've got any questions, please feel free to contact me and ask me anything and I'd love to give you as much support um, as I can. Okay, so ninjas, I'm hoping everybody is ready for a really fantastic training session today. And I think when we've been sitting studying, the best thing we can do is let go of all that energy, get rid of, rid of all of that sort of, you know, focusing that we've done on our, our studies and just get into our body, have an amazing time. And most importantly, remember how fantastic we all are. Okay, so today I've actually got two amazing assistants and this guy, he's called Bounce, but right now he's in his ninja mode, which means that he's really got that focus on the inside so that he can really, I don't know, find everything really easy because he's got this amazing focus. So he's with us and I've got my other friend, Chili the Frog, who I think some of you might already know him. He is my mindfulness assistant, and he's also really great at building the muscle of attention. So in fact, talking to these guys this morning made me think one of the most important things for our ninja training is to really get ready so we get the most out of our session today. And I thought we would tap into the ninja power by doing a listening game. A little bit different today because what I really need you to do is um, we're going to be listening to the bell. I'm using my fabulous Tingsha bells. Let's listen to the sound so you know what it is, okay? It's a beautiful sound. So we're going to be listening for that sound we're gonna close our eyes so we can really focus on that ninja power. And we're gonna be listening to the sound. Now when the sound is finished, 
silence. I want you to see if you can raise your arm into the air. So you're going to raise your arm up and then you're going to bring it right down in front of you to tap into that ninja power. Okay? So you don't have to do anything to start. You put your hands on your knees, you close your eyes, you open your ears. Listen for the sound. When there's no sound, reach your arm into the air, tap into your ninja power, bring your hand all the way back down in front. Okay, you ready? Let's see if we can do that. Eyes closed, ears open, sitting up really tall. Well done, ninjas. I can sense and feel from a distance even that you are ready to carry on today. Fantastic job. Thank you for being brilliant listeners and tapping into your own ninja power. Now, just to remember today that when we're doing any of the poses, I need you to really tap into how your body's feeling today. And I need you to be very, very safe and mindful with everything that we're doing, okay? All right, challenge number two. Okay, this was Bounce's idea because he loves to really feel what it feels like on the inside. And one of the things I thought right now is we're gonna close our eyes and we're gonna think of a special quality that we wanna find in ourselves today and in our training session. Now, for example, my today I want to create confidence. So I wanna feel confident when I've had my training session today. So can you just see if you can sit up really tall just for a minute, find an imaginary string, see if you can pull it up towards the, the ceiling and find all that space in your body. <gasps> you guys just grew about three centimeters. Now see if you can release your hand, put your hand back down, ninja power, closing your eyes and seeing what it is your special quality that you want to find today. That might be focus, it might be strength, it might be peacefulness, or it might be bravery. Who knows what it's going to be? Closing your eyes. Okay, ninjas, open up your eyes. Now, we're going to take that quality and we're going to feel how it feels, like an energy. Rub your hands together. That's it, keep rubbing your palms. See if you can feel that heat and energy. And then take your hands apart and feel it like a ball. Wow, that's amazing. One more time, do it again. Rubbing your hands together. That's it, feel the heat, feel the warmth. And then take your hands apart. See if you can feel that energy between your hands. Now I want you to see if you can tap that energy. Now I want you to make your hands into little fists and we're gonna see if we can tap that energy all the way into the body. So right now I'm filling myself up with confidence all the way down my arm and then I'm gonna do it on the other side. That's it, really, oh my goodness, I can feel all that confidence energy coming into my body, that's it. And then I'm gonna tap my chest for a minute and I'm going to tap it down the front of my body, all the way down my legs, all the way down right into my feet. I'm going to massage my feet for a minute. Oh, that feels great. And then I'm going to come back up my legs on the outside. Oh, even on my bottom, I can feel it there. And then on my back and then on one shoulder. Fantastic. And then on the other shoulder. Oh, and then I'm going to shake my hands out for a minute. Oh, wiggle my shoulders. Wow, I am feeling very full of my special quality that I'm gonna to create today, which is confidence. Don't forget what yours is. Okay, let's stand up. And let's see if we can feel that power today with the breath and also with the sound. Okay, so take your feet a little bit further apart. Can you bend your knees a little bit? Now, 
Today our ninja sound is the sound of ha. See if you can make that sound for a minute. You ready? One, two, three, ha. Fantastic. Right, let's see if we can bring that sound and energy into our body today. I'm going to come a little bit closer. All right, here we go. We're going to breathe in, reach up. Grab that energy, pull it into your body, ninjas. And again, breathe in, reach up. One more time, breathe in. Arms out in front. This is a bit more tricky. Roll your wrists up, pull the energy into your body. And again, breathe in. One more time. Well done. Okay, let's see, because we are amazing. Let's not forget that, okay? Every day we're doing incredible things, we have an amazing body, and we're tapping into our special ninja power. Let's see if we can put two of those things together. Okay, get ready. Breathe in. Ha! Arms in front. Ha! Breathe in. Ha! Arms in front. Ha! Breathe in. Ha! Arms in front. Ha! One more time. Breathe in. Ha! Arms in front. Now that made me want to cough because I felt all of that amazing energy coming up. Okay, let's see if we can warm up the body a little bit before we do some of those training poses that we're going to do today. Without a doubt, to be able to be ninjas, we need to be fit, we need to be strong, we need to be flexible, we need to be peaceful, we need to be focused, we've got so many different things to work on in our training session today. So how about we start with our sun salutations and all right, we're going to breathe in, reach the arms up, breathe out, diving forward down to the ground. Breathing in, rising halfway, breathing out, we're going to step the right foot back, knee to the floor. Breathe in, reach your arms up. Breathing out, hands down to the ground. Breathe in, stepping back into a plank for a minute. Knees to the ground and tummy to the ground. Breathing in, rising up. Breathing out, coming down. And then pushing yourself up. Stretching your bottom back to your heels and lifting all the way back up into down dog. Well done everybody, look to your hands. Step one foot forward, knee to the floor, reaching your arms up into the air. Hands back down to the ground, stepping back to the front of your mat, rising halfway, touching the ground and then coming all the way back up. And then hands back to the center. All right, let's try it one more time. Are you ready? Here we go, we're gonna breathe in, reach up, breathe out, diving forward. Breathing in, rising halfway, hands down to the ground, stepping back, reaching your arms up, hands down to the ground, stepping back into that plank, oh, knees to the floor, tummy to the ground, coming up like a snake, letting out a sound, as you come back down, letting the breath out, pushing up onto all fours, send your bottom back towards your heels and then stretching up. That's it, coming up into your dog. Well done, everybody. Look to the front of your mat, stepping the other foot forward, knee to the floor, reaching your arms into the air, and then hands down to the ground. It's a bit tricky, I know. And then step the back foot to meet the front, rise halfway, roll back down. Breathing in, coming up, palms to touch, and then back to the center. Well done, that's amazing. Okay, we're warmed up. I hope you're feeling a bit warmed up. Just give your shoulders a bit of a shake. Step your feet apart for a minute and just wave those hips up a bit more. That's it, ninjas, brilliant. Fantastic. Okay, can you see if you can bring your feet a bit closer together? I want us to tap into that real power and fire that we need sometimes when we're training. Hands to your chest, breathing in, breathing out, feet apart. Hands behind your head, breathing in, bending your knees, breathe out, feet together. Breathe in, breathe out. 
Hands behind your head, breathe in, breathe out. Last time breathing in, breathing out. Now put your hands on your hips, turn your back foot out and turn your front foot to face this way. Breathe in, reach up, clap your hands, hands back to the centre, arms out wide and bend your knee above your ankle. Fantastic. Turn your palms towards me and then see if you can reach one hand and then we're going to breathe in here and we're going to pull back making that sound that we made earlier, the ha sound. So here we go. We're actually, let's make a big circle, big circle, palms to touch. Ha! Fantastic. Hands together. One more big circle. Pulling back. Ha! Well done. And again, hands to touch. Big circle, pulling back. Ha! Fantastic. Now keep your arms out. Wow, that needs a lot of strength as well. Turn your feet out in the other direction. Put your hands on your hips for a minute. Find your right place. Brilliant. Breathe in, reach up, clap your hands. Hands back to center, arms out wide. Palms to touch, make a big circle again. Here we go, pulling back. <sighs> palms to touch, big circle, pulling back. <sighs> Last time, palms to touch, big circle, pulling back. <sighs> Fantastic, reaching the arms out. Drop your arms down, turn your feet parallel. And then for a minute, see if you can walk your feet a bit closer and then jump your feet together. Okay, another superpower that we need, without a doubt, every day to be an amazing ninja like we are, is a little bit of focus. So, balance can help us find our focus. So here we go today. Let's see if we can start with our foot resting on top of our other foot, and then reach your arms out wide, and then bring your hands together, and then see if you can stretch your hands out in front. Oh my goodness, it's a bit tricky. Well done, oh my goodness. If you fall out, don't worry, just step back to the middle. Okay, let's try the other side. All right, imagine you've got roots, that can help you sometimes. And then see if you can put one foot on top of the other, arms out, bring your hands out in front. See if you can look towards the middle of your thumbs, fantastic. And then bring your hands back to the center. Oh my goodness, it's a tricky one. And then put your feet back down. I think that was pretty tough. All right, let's try one more. Okay, are you ready? Put your roots into the ground. Now see if you can pick up one foot and see if you can take your arms behind you. Okay, we're gonna count to three. Get ready, one, two, Three, building your ninja focus today. You're doing an amazing job. Put your foot back on the ground. Wiggle your shoulders for a minute. And let's try the other side. Okay, get ready. We're gonna see if we can pick up your foot. That's it. Reach your arms out for a minute and then take your arms behind you. I'm gonna to count to five. One, two. Well done, ninjas. Three. Three and a half, four, and five. Well done, put your foot back down. Amazing, give your shoulders a little bit of a wiggle. Fantastic. All right, for a minute, can you see if you can step your right foot forward? Can you see if you can lift your back heel? Now bend your front knee, reach your arms here, and as you breathe in, I want you to push the energy out. Okay, now we're gonna breathe in and we're gonna draw that energy back in, ninjas. <sighs> you ready? Breathing in here, push the energy out. There you go. And then breathing in here, draw the energy back in. <sighs> One more time, we're gonna push the energy out, breathing in. Let's make the sound as well. <sighs> breathing in. <sighs> All right, last time, breathe in. <sighs> and then again, breathing in. <sighs> Fantastic. Can you take your hands down to the ground? Oh my goodness, drop your knee down for a minute, coming up. Open up your chest, feel all of that amazing power that you just created today. Fantastic. 
drop your hands back down gently and see if you can step back into a dog, drop your knees, bring the other foot forward. Can you see if you can lift your back heel? Now come up to balance again. It's a bit tricky. I'm hoping we're doing okay here. We can stay on the ground if it's a little bit hard today. Okay, again, we're gonna see if we can breathe in here and then we're gonna push the energy away and then we're gonna bring it back in. So breathing in here and then breathing in, breathing in, breathing in. Well done, ninjas. One more time, breathe in and then breathing in. Well done, my goodness. What an energy pump that is. Take your hands down to the ground, put your knee on the floor, and let's see if we can step back and lift up and come into down dog for a minute. And have a really lovely big stretch. Well done, everybody. And then we're gonna see, wherever you are, if you can walk your hands towards your feet, Bend your knees, hold on to your toes, shake your head out, give it a nice shake. And then see if you can roll back up like a rag doll, coming all the way back up. All right, now, you're gonna step your feet wide apart again. This time you're gonna take your toes out to the side and you're gonna see if you can bend your knees. So we're gonna find some determination here because this is a bit tricky. And then we're gonna see if we can take our arms up. Okay, ninjas, see if you can stay here for a moment. And we're gonna count to five. Are you ready? One, two, it's tricky, three, four, five. Well done, come up for a minute, have a rest. Give your shoulders a bit of a wiggle. Okay, and let's see if we can do it this time. I don't know if we can, we might try and count to seven. Are you ready? We're gonna breathe in, ready? Clap your hands, back to the center. Hands on your hips, bend your knees. That's it, see if you can get your knees right above your ankles here and get ready. Here we go. One more time, ninjas. One, two, three, four, five, two more this time, six, six and a half, six and three quarters, and seven, and come up slowly, turn your feet parallel, clap your hands together, bring your hands onto your hips. Whew, that was you being incredibly determined, I could feel everybody doing that right now. Okay, one of our other qualities in a training session is to be able to go from sound to silence. Sometimes we make a lot of sound, sometimes it's good to be quiet, or it's great to be quiet because we can hear how we're really feeling. And so we're gonna try that now. Can you bend your knees a little bit and bring your hands to your chest? So we're gonna make a big sound, let out lots of energy, and then we're gonna pull all that energy in and be completely quiet. I know it's tricky, I find it tricky, so, okay. And we're gonna imagine for a minute that you're almost like a gorilla. Let's say we've got that power of a gorilla where he can be really big and strong, but he can be incredibly calm and peaceful. So that's what we're doing right now. Okay, get ready, here we go. And we're gonna make a sound. Uh... Well done. We're going to try and do that two more times. And notice, does it feel, what does it feel like to make lots of sound and then be really, really quiet, really calm? Okay, all right, let's try again. You ready? Breathing in. Uh... <laughs> Last time, you're doing a brilliant job. Here we go. One more time. Breathing in. Uh... So now we're going to really find our power, this is a tricky one, 
we're going to really pump it. Okay, sometimes we need to really move our bodies to find that energy that we've got inside our bodies. Otherwise, it can get a bit sleepy, especially if we've been sitting around and studying and watching the computer. I know we might be doing that now, but we're moving as well, aren't we? Okay, are you ready? So, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can pump it dog, okay? So, we're going to come back down. And we're going to see if we can do some movements together, all right? So, really open up your hands as if you've got dog paws, okay? Spreading your fingers. That's it. And we're going to lift up. Well done, everybody. Brilliant. And then we're going to see if we can come forward into a plank. Drop our knees, come down to the ground, push ourselves up, push our bottom back, and lift into down dog. We're going to do that a few times. So come forward, knees to the ground, tummy to the ground, come back up, push back, and then back. Let's do it two more times, okay? Coming into that really strong position, knees to the ground, tummy to the ground, come back up. Push back. Oh, and this time, I tell you what, we need to really pump it up and do a few donkey kicks. Are you ready? We're going to do five donkey kicks. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. Have a little rest for a second. Come down for a minute. Feel all that amazing energy you've been pumping through your body. And then coming up for a second, I want you to see if you can bring yourself down into a crocodile rest. So lay down on your tummy. Bring one hand on top of the other. And then you're gonna put your forehead down. So just so you can see from here, One hand on top of the other, laying down on your tummy. And completely resting for a minute, having the crocodile rest, letting all of that energy be sealed into your body. And then we're going to come up, because we've got one last little challenge. And let's come to sit on our bottoms. Okay. So let's see if we can, for a minute, just see if we can actually Build a little bit more strength in our tummy. And we're going to see if we can reach forward, touching our toes. And we're going to breathe in here and then we're going to see if we can come back. And we're going to touch our toes again. And then we're going to see if we can come back. And touching the toes again. Coming back. Let's do that three more times. That's it, building all that strength. One more time after this, touching your toes, and then coming back, and then coming forwards. Well done. Okay, so, one of the things, I know I'm really warm. <laughs> one of the things about training as a ninja is that we can, actually find a way to come back to that feeling that we wanted to create the, at the beginning of the class. So for me, mine is confidence. So sometimes if I'm not feeling very confident, I might need to see if I can tap into this power that I'm feeling today, this ninja power. So it's almost like it's a, a secret power, I suppose, 
that belong that is mine, unique to me. So I thought what we might do is see if we could make that that power actually be a colour. And then we might be able to think about that colour when we need to really tap into that that whatever that is for you. Like I said, for me, it's confidence. Now, this is almost like, it's quite special because it's almost like a secret code. It's like our own ninja secret color code. So our secret code, I think, is going to be the first color that we think about that comes into our mind when we close our eyes right now. So I want to see if you can close your eyes right now. So sitting up really tall, finding lots of space in your body. Can you see if you can close your eyes? And what's the first color that comes into your eyes today? Okay, open your eyes. So you don't have to share that with me, but I'm gonna share what my color was. And my color was a beautiful turquoise. So for me, when I'm not feeling really confident, I'm going to think about turquoise and I'm gonna feel, when I think about that color, all of that confidence comes inside and I, and I feel like I can do whatever it is I need to do in that moment. So I thought that might be something that we could use when we're not together. And I hope it, um, you know, so you might even, um, you might, if you forget your color, sometimes we've got lots of things on our minds, you could even write it down on a piece of paper and put it somewhere safe so that you can remember that that is your ninja secret code, okay? All right. I think it's time to lie down for a minute and have a little bit of a rest because it's very important to have relaxation at the end of our yoga class so that it keeps all of that amazing energy and effort that you've, you've actually done today. So remember, we're gonna lie down and when we lie down, I'm just gonna show you again. When you lie down, remember to take your feet slightly apart and to have your hands along beside you with your palms up, okay? So you're lying down on your mat. That's it, and having, letting your feet relax and just feeling very, very comfortable and closing your eyes. Oh, and if you've got that special toy that I mentioned at the beginning, you might wanna put that toy on your tummy right now. So you might want to rest that on your tummy so it helps you to feel the breath moving in and out of your tummy as your favourite toy moves up and down. It can make us feel a little bit more calm and relaxed. Okay, so closing your eyes, I want you to actually think about the colour that you just discovered as your ninja secret code. And I want you to imagine this colour is filling up your toes and it's traveling all the way up your toes, all the way into your knees, all the way up your legs, all the way up to your bottom. And you might notice how when this color fills up your body, you feel relaxed, calm and peaceful. You notice that all the muscles and the bones start to become a little bit more heavy as you're lying on your mat today after your session. And then you feel the color moving up into your tummy, relaxing your tummy, and then see if you can imagine that color moving all the way up to your shoulders. And now you can feel that colors in your back all the way down your spine. So your whole back is relaxing See the colour moving down from your shoulders to your elbows, from your elbows right down into your wrist, and then right into each and every finger and into the palm of your hands. Amazing. Now feel all of your arms becoming heavy and relaxed. 
Now see if you can feel the colour and imagine the colour moving into your neck, into your face, into your ears, around your eyes and even into your nose. And the colour now has gone all the way to the top of your head and see and imagine all the colour reaching every single part of your body and now you're filled up with your incredible secret ninja code colour and you're relaxing and your body is sinking down into your mat just a little bit more and all of that amazing effort and energy from your training session today is being sealed inside your body. And that quality, that special quality that you thought of at the beginning, whatever that was for you, maybe it was bravery, maybe it was determination, maybe it was being playful, maybe it was being focused. That's really, really sealed inside your body right now as you lie here in relaxation. And then listening for a special sound. Not moving the body yet, not opening your eyes, but listening for a special sound. <whistles> Gently starting to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Stretching your hands behind you onto the floor. Stretch out through your fingers and stretch out through your toes. <whistles> Opening the eyes gently, hugging the knees towards your tummy and just feel your whole body waking up gently. Well done. And then see if you can roll to your side or find yourself back in a sitting position like myself and bounce. Our amaz amazing ninja assistant today, and Chili, our mindfulness assistant. And as we sit here, we can feel that we've done a great job today. I think you guys have been amazing. And I know that you have all of the power and confidence and amazing ninja focus within you to keep being a superstar and doing a wonderful job. And thank you so much for joining today. And just remember, you've got that brilliant Ninja Secret code that any time you're not feeling so great about something, you're a bit worried about something, remember you close your eyes, Think of that colour and bring in whatever it is you need for yourself in that moment. And it could be to be calm, it could be to be confident, it could be to be brave. Or it could even be just to feel kindness to yourself and then share it with others. I hope you have a really, really amazing and wonderful rest of the day. And I hope you have a fantastic night's sleep after our training session. I'm waking up here today, so I'm going to use all of that power and energy for the rest of my day as well. So, thank you. Have a beautiful rest of the day. Remember to stay strong. Remember you are an incredible ninja. And namaste, everybody. Thank you so much. And thank you from these guys as well. They loved it. Thanks guys, take care.